Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with The Movement System. In this video, we're gonna talk about how NSCA CEUs work. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, NSCA CEUs can be kinda confusing and overwhelming, but it's actually not that bad. We're just gonna break down how it works, how the units work, what the categories mean, how you record your CEUs, what you need to do, how CPR works. We're gonna break it all down in this video. Maybe you watch some of the movement system videos to study for your CSCS, and you're coming back now to figure out how your CEUs work. We're glad to see you again. I'm also gonna share a little bit with you guys about our CEU approved courses, Program Design 101 and Movement Assessment 101 by the Movement System if you wanna take those to earn your CEUs. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our first question. When do you need to recertify? The NSCA works on a three year recertification period. That means that every three years, everyone recertifies at the same time. This is different than other certifications where you just have to recertify maybe every two years. So for the CSCS and the NSCA CPT as well, in 2023, in 2026, in 2029, everyone will have to recertify. That leads us into our next question of how many CEUs do you need in order to recertify? And this depends on how long you were certified. If like me, you had your CSCS for the entire time period from 2020 to 2023, you're gonna need the full 6.0 units. What are these units and, and what does that actually mean? Well, basically you need 20 hours of continuing education every year that you're certified. That means if you were certified for three years, you need 60 total hours and we just call that 6.0 units. This chart is from the NSCA website. If you just go to the NSCA website or you Google NSCA recertification, you'll find it. And this will actually show you how many CEUs you need if you were certified sometime within the time period. I'm sure there'll be a similar one for 2026 as well. As you can see, if you got certified during 2021, you're gonna need 4.0 units. So if you got certified during 2022 and you've only had your certification for one year, you only need 2.0 units. Then lastly, if you got certified in the last six months of the year, you don't need any units, you're just kind of grandfathered into recertification. If you log into your NSCA dashboard, you can actually confirm this, it'll tell you exactly how many units you need. Okay, so I think we're all on the same page so far, but here's where it gets a little bit confusing, and that is with categories. There are four different categories of CEUs, category A, B, C, and D. You can go to the website to see exactly what's in each category, but let's just give you a big picture overview. Category A will be live events. So if you go to an NSCA conference or a non-NSCA live conference that is approved for continuing education units, you might earn category A CEU credits. Category B involves NSCA volunteer work or sharing your presentations maybe at an NSCA conference. Category C is a big one. There's a lot of things in this one. This could include first aid, college coursework, internships, or pre-approved study courses. And then lastly, category D is NSCA quizzes. Now let's take a look back at that chart to figure out where you need to get your CEUs from. This can seem kind of overwhelming, but really it's not that confusing. You basically just need to get your CEUs from two different categories. You can get 5.5 out of six CEU units from either category A or category C. That means you just need to get 0.5 units from either B or D. For example, you can do a bunch of live events. You can go to an NSCA conference and other live conferences, and you can do a couple NSCA quizzes from category D and you can recertify, you're good. Or you can do a bunch of online courses in category C and then just do two or three NSCA quizzes in category D and recertify that way. That's what a lot of people do as well. Personally, I'm doing a combination of category A, category C, and category D a couple NSCA quizzes by just being an NSCA member, logging onto the website and doing some quizzes, going to some live events, and also doing some pre-approved home study courses. Okay, so now let's talk about where you can actually find these CEUs so that way you can get them logged on the website and get yourself recertified. Step one, join our email list. We actually have a free webinar coming up where if you sign up and you watch the webinar, you'll just get completely free CEUs. When we do that kind of thing, we email it out to our email list so that people can sign up for free and earn those CEUs. So make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description below to actually sign up for the email list so that way you know when those free opportunities come up. Next, I would definitely consider signing up for one of our CEU courses, Program Design 101 or Movement Assessment 101. These courses are entirely online, self-paced, so you can sign up anytime, complete it in whatever time period you want to, whether that's a 
few days or over a few months. And then at the end, you're gonna receive a CEU certificate. That CEU certificate will look like this. And you just go onto the website and hit report CEUs, type your code, and then you'll have those units done. Program Design 101 is designed to teach you how to write effective strength and conditioning programs for your clients and athletes. Within that course, I share my exact templates for strength training, hypertrophy training, plyometric training, endurance training, conditioning, and show you guys exactly how to write great programs for your clients. By the end, you'll have a portfolio of great programs that you can use with your athletes. And then in Movement Assessment 101, you're gonna learn how to assess movement for your clients. Whether your clients are limited in hip internal rotation or hip flexion or shoulder flexion, or they have common issues like pain in the knee or pain in the Achilles tendon, you're gonna learn how to assess their movement to figure out where they're having some movement deficits and the protocols to improve that. At the end of Movement Assessment 101, you're gonna have a full flow sheet of how to assess each major joint in the body and what to do for each restriction that you're finding. So that's a great option if you wanna have a better eye for movement and solve more problems for your clients. I'll put a link in the description to both of those courses and you can always check those out at themovementsystem.com. Some other options for continuing education, including getting your first aid in CPR slash AED. For that, you just go to theredcross.com, schedule a class, this is something you have to maintain current for recertification anyway. So by doing it, you can earn a couple of CEUs as well. And then in order to get that category B or category D, I think the easiest way is to do the NSCA quizzes. Just become an NSCA member for a year and then take those free quizzes. They earn you the CEUs. Once you become a member, they'll actually email you about those opportunities or you can just log on and find those quizzes. That's a great way to get at least 0.5 in category D. So that way you can get 5.5 in category C or 5.5 in category A slash C and complete your recertification. Once you get all your CEUs onto the website and you're eligible, you can just hit recertify. You do have to pay a recertification fee, but once you do that, you're gonna get a green check mark. It's gonna say recertification complete, and you're gonna be good to go for the next three years. You do wanna make sure that you do this in time so that way you don't have to retake the CSCS exam. Trust me, you don't wanna to have to do that. If you do, check out the Movement System CSCS study course, but in reality, you don't wanna to have to go through that again, so make sure you get your CEUs done in time. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you know anyone else who needs to recertify, feel free to send this to them as well. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one.